Yo, so down if you don't ask, make some noise, please, family! So what we say, we're at the National Museum, I'm flew here from London to be here with you this evening. It is an honour, it is a pleasure. I hope you enjoy the show. Alright, chillin' with the women, nigga, mouse all mine They don't wanna bring it when I'm in the full twice To kill it all night, it's sick of the full time Living in a minute, for the minute, with the rhythm Is a wake up when I'm in the full time, I'm Yeah, if I'm in the no night They can't do it like me And 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 they can't do it like me when I'm in a wave and I'm in a wave and I'm in a wave and they can't do it like me When I'm in a wave and I'm in a base and I'm in a wave and they can't do it like me If you're in a place and wanna be shameless say that they can't do it like Can't do it like, can't do it like me, like me, like they can't do it like me Alcohol, alcohol, tell the crowd to hold Alcohol, alcohol, tell the crowd to hold Yeah, what? Alcohol out the hole, so the crowd to hold tight. Rock, yeah, alcohol, lights, out the whole night. But two keys, the blue cheese, do my thing with the groupies. I never bought the book, you cheap. I'm gonna score before Rudy. Living in a minute, been a minute, been a minute, been a minute, been a minute, full time. I'm in the crib for drinks, living in the pit for the new night. And they can't do it like me. 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 And they can't do me like you. And they can't do me like you. And they can't do me like you. I'm a late boss team. When I'm on the mat, I'm late, can't speak. So I'm on the hype, but they rate our team. So we let them hate and we say, love, hey, lovely. We're gonna climb to the cram. Best in the world, not best in the end. I wanna be that, life wanna be that. I never sleep, I'll rest when I'm dead. Cop, they can't do me like me. And 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 they can't do me like you. And they can't do me like you. And they can't do it like you. They can't do it like me. When I'm in the rave and I wanna wave, man, I'm in the way and they can't do it like me. When I'm in the wave and I wanna base, man, I'm in the way and they can't do it like me. If you're in the place, I wanna be shameless, say that they can't do it like me. Can't do it like me. Can't do it like me. Like, 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 like they can't do it like me. One more time now. Alcohol. Out the hole. Tell the crowd to hold. One more time now, alcohol, out of hole, tell the crowd to hold. Alcohol. This one's going out to the stuffer right here. Make some noise for yourselves, make some noise for the stuffer. Make some noise for more power, love and revolution. So, I've come here today from London. Now, if you live in London, there's two words most recently, that you will have likely heard more and more frequently. Redevelopment, or otherwise known increasingly as regeneration, which isn't what it seems to be. Our councils really love to just regenerate a place, to elevate a space, to regenerate estates. They're regenerating London in abundance as we speak, but have you ever wondered what these words actually mean. I mean, the term redevelopment implies a type of progress, and the council make it sound like a beneficial process, which has to make you wonder why there's been so many protests against regeneration on estates. It makes no sense. Until you look at the evidence from previous developments and finds that none of these benefits actually benefit the residents. You see, when they redevelop homes, they also redevelop rent. When they redevelop rent, then we develop debt. We get evicted and shifted out of ends. When they redevelop bricks, we have to redevelop friends. Maybe you thought you knew what redevelop meant. Well, if you believe that we develop, please develop sense. You better fight for us or you'll be redeveloped next, and then we'll all be redeveloped to a redeveloped dead. You could be a sister, a neighbor, a parent, a mother, a carer, a savior, a friend or a brother. They couldn't care if you bled in the gutter. You could be dead, because to them, you're a number. To them, you're just the amount of money they can sell your home for. Like, 
<coughs> Good afternoon, 800,000 pounds. How are you, 800,000 pounds? I hope this letter finds you well. It's worth 800,000 pounds. I'm writing about your property. I'm sorry, but you've got to leave. You'll be on the streets, but to me, 800,000 pounds. It's the sound of progress. It's a scary process, but the council always knows best. Please, 800,000 pounds. Think of all the other houses we could build when yours is down, and we can get them forking out around 800,000 pounds. <coughs> but you can come back for 800,000 pounds. But please, don't be sad if you lack £800,000 because whenever you're feeling down and out or looking for money down the couch, remember that to me, you're worth £800,000. Yours sincerely, Councillor Matthew Bennett. But Matthew Bennett's a big man. There's big plans in the pipeline. Our tube will get a night line. The food is getting quite fine. Everybody wants to live in Brixton. It's the high life. So smashing our homes to dust has come just at the right time. Now, admittedly, I'm of a biased background. I've stood and seen my best friends have their houses smashed down. I'm already angry and anger clouds reality. So let me detach myself and just look at the facts now. Cressingham Gardens Estate, that's in southwest London. There's 300 houses and a council want to crush them. Each house has around a three-person count, so that's 900 people who stand to lose their house. The council explained that the estate needs work, and over one-third of properties need a refurb because they left them to decline, which happens all the time. You'd be quite surprised if you do some research. Now, a full refurb will cost seven million. It's nothing, but the council have announced that they can't afford that. Despite having received a hundred million pounds in funding and despite having collected rent for 40 years before that So instead of spending seven million on refurbishments, which they've already said they have available now They want to smash the houses down Build around the same amount and that's gonna cost 130 million pounds, but According to the council, this all makes sense because they intend to build 27 extra homes at council rents. Yeah. They want to spend 130 million pounds on 27 extra houses. While there's a housing crisis and the waiting list has thousands, that's not efficient or sufficient. Why do we allow it when it only serves to benefit developers and councillors? But you know what? Even if residents could afford to move back, what makes the council think they'd even want these new flats? Not everything that's new is necessarily improved. The council just assumed that we'd even want to do that. They forget that in these homes, people raised their families. These walls have shared their happiness and faced their every tragedy. They forget that a home is a community, a neighborhood, and no amount of new could make me feel the way my neighbors could. They forget that. The difference between a home and house, that a house can't be made a home for any one amount. They forget about the elderly who've spent their whole lives here. They got a right to stay here. They got a right to die here. It's sad to be said, but it has to make you wonder whether they forget or just care more about a number. Maybe you thought you knew what redevelop meant, but if you believe that we develop, please develop sense. You better fight for us or you'll be redeveloped next and then we'll all be redeveloped to a redeveloped dead. We just want a place to live. That's what our estates are for. It's time to fight, to try and survive. We're living in a state of war. They're all moving into Bootus out, they want to loot the town. We're taking bricks and The money talks, they better shut the mouth. We ain't shutting shop, I ain't moving house. We built this town, we ain't moving out. Bricks and They're all moving into Bootus out, they want to loot the town. We're taking bricks and The money talks, they better shut the mouth. We ain't shutting shop, I ain't moving house. We built this town. 
It's far from a riddle. The class in the middle rolled up to the bits for a laugh and a giggle. Landlords didn't want to miss their chance and they kissed their brass to the fast to triple the rent prices. Throwing us out with our parents crying. Put together now, see if we die or if we survive it. Let's unite now and next time. Occupy, squat the lot, cross the line, drop the shops. When I want a mic and rock your block, buy a tribe where by, that's what they want. Real talk, London is under attack. Fuck that, I ain't gonna live by words, bro. We're gonna take London back, and sister, we're gonna take Brixton first. Brixton first. They're all moving into Boots out, they wanna loot the town. We're taking Brixton first. The money's short, so better shut the mouth. Ain't shutting shop, I ain't moving out. We build this town, we ain't moving out. Brixton first. They're all moving into Boots out, they wanna loot the town. We're taking Brixton first. Daddy, how do you spell gentrification? Well, it's L, double O T I N G. When I run up in the bits with the bags like thieves, they be grabbing up land, stacking up here, then seeing them cruising. We would all call that looting. With the new agree that's looting. It's not really confusing. Their blueprint is colonial. We all swimming in blood, but the weapons aren't guns, now they're killing with bombs. So when the cows to allow those bigger than us, but I've been in the rush, we are bigger than us. You think they are, then you're mistaken. Part of the problem, you're complacent, you're complicit, you're the rapist, shutting us off to big corporations. When the moment comes, we'll load the guns and clear the bunkers. It's clear that we're the ones that fear it comes when we're in numbers. Yeah, they might get boiled off. We didn't want to fight, but the dre has gone. Married on the back draw for the toy box. So just back up in the face with the boy cut. Put on your shoes. If they're kicking us out, we got nothing to lose. Real talk, London is under attack. Fuck that. I ain't gonna live by words, bro. We're gonna take London back. And sister, we're gonna take Brixton first. Brixton. Family make some noise. Same, cut that. <laughs> Sedona. I am so humbled. I am so humbled and so honored, truly. You know, a lot of people use their words quite freely. They say, oh, I'm very humbled. Oh, I'm very honored. Oh, yeah. I feel so honored and so humbled to be sharing this space with you this evening, to have been invited. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share with you a piece of uh, spoken word, which is like poetry, about the importance of art and education. For a lot of you, you will have noticed that this evening, we have been looking at the connection between art and activism, changing the world, whether it's changing your home, changing yourselves, changing your community, changing the world internationally. This is what I'm about, yeah? So, with this in mind, I'd like to raise a statement made by Nikki Morgan, which quickly needs recalling because it's literally appalling. Nikki, the Secretary of Education, attempts to make the case that the arts should be surpassed because basically they pay less. She claims to know for sure that art closes doors and unless it's maths or physics, it's not something she'll support. She warns that she's right and does more than imply that people who study art will lead a poorer life. She then goes on to reference statistics of wages and claims that creatives are victims who won't get a job because they need maths and physics and that's just a fact and art isn't a business. <laughs> Which is actually the part that's so ironic because the arts have proved in large to produce the fastest growth in profit. Take a look critically at the creative industries. In 2013, its growth was tremendous. 10%, more than all other sectors. It's moving towards even bigger projections and it's proved to secure huge inward investment. Its GVA clearly states 80 billion pounds a year. I'll say that again loud and clear, 80 billion pounds a year. <laughs> You just can't try and pretend that this industry is obsolete when it's got two million jobs and 5% of the economy. And honestly, whatever you may think, her statements made imply two main things. One, that the primary role of education is to get a job. Now, we've already established that art creates employment, so avoiding art and cutting funds to paths to be avoided, but in general, it's really quite disturbing that in Nikki's view, the purpose of learning is working. What Nikki's most concerned with is business development. 
And what about a person's holistic development? Brother, you want music? Brother, shouldn't we endeavor to develop people's empathy? You tell me, shouldn't we endeavor to develop people's empathy? Connection to others, respect and integrity? Shouldn't they be encouraged to reflect on their identity, to find what their strengths are and be whatever they're meant to be? I think it's quite clear there's more to learning than working. But further, isn't there also more to working than earning? You see, the second major implication of a statement is that people seek a higher wage more than a vocation. But of course, what we really want are jobs that we can thrive in. We're all interested in living, not simply just surviving. But it's kind of funny, I don't know if you noticed, but suddenly, Currency has become the focus of this conversation of ours, which was education and art. Now, it's not easy to quantify the benefits of art. Development isn't always something you can chart, but I'll give it a go and I'll make it quick. I just don't know where to begin. I mean, art teaches teamwork, listening, compliance, research, discipline, defiance, finance, consistency, history, science, independence, literacy, industry, self-reliance, self-belief, acumen, will, dedication, speech, management, skills and presentation, preparation, planning, the fruits of patience, the worth of interpersonal skills, communications. Basically, key skills to serve them for life. These are some of the things that art brings to young minds. But as I say, it's not easy to quantify the benefits of art. Development isn't always something we can chart. Sometimes growth comes within a person's heart to learn to understand the world so they can play their part. Sometimes the miracles of art aren't visible. Sometimes they only come to light in the dark. And art, my savior, was provided by the Brit School. They showed me a future and they helped me build a path. Art is at the heart of education. It facilitates growth, provides a path to elevation, it's synonymous with confidence. Art is the creation, not only of a product, but of us as a nation. We need a growth of people before growth in profit. An expansion of minds, not just an expansion of wallets. An enrichment of lives, not simply our wallets. An enrichment that provides the Britain and Sudan that we promised. We need real enrichment in this Britain and Sudan of ours, and it's an enrichment we're given through art. <laughs> All right, you want some music? I'm gonna give you some music. If you want some music, make some noise. Give me that energy, and I'm gonna give it back to you. They said they loved you, but then they caught you. They never loved you. They only fucked you. They said they loved you, but then they caught you. They never loved you. They never loved you. Run up on HMRC, take an army and fake Versace. Stand for the march like base of parties. Take them on the bar and claim my money. Give me the pee, give me the money back. Spun up in the back like give me the money back. Stand back, grabbing that bad in the 1%. Then when I'm done there, I ride up a number 10. Bad in the mark, jacking them up. Grabbing the pass, jacking it up. Imagine the rush, having them up one time, I'm high, I'm better than up. It's about cash, it's about pride, it's about tax, it's about life, it's about black, it's about white, it's about the bang fam, it's about time. They're spilling our blood, they're killing our mums, they started war. If they win the cop, we'll build an army of the stars that form. Walking around, talking about how you in the country screwed about them. But look who wars them now, even Ian walked out, he knew it about them. They said they loved you, but then they cut you. They never loved you, they only fucked you. They said they loved you, but then they cut you. They never loved you. They snatch you, abuse you, they trap you and use you That's the bad you, no gratitude They're attacking you like Zulu They tax you, they cut you, they jacked you They moved you, they had you, they gone you They don't have to, they choose to Burning them up, jacking them up Grabbing the past, stacking it up Imagine the rush, stepping them up one time I'm high, I'm burning them up It's about cash, it's about pride, it's about tax It's about life, it's about black, it's about white It's about to bang fam, it's about time they're spilling our blood, they're killing our mums, they started war. If they win the cut, we'll build an army on the stars that form. 
Walking around talking about how you in the country screwed about them. We look who wars them now, even he walked out, he knew all about them. They said they loved you. They said they loved you, but then they cut you. They never loved you. One more time, Sadan. Look. They said they loved you, but then they cut you. They never loved you. They only fucked you. They never loved you, but then they cut you. They never loved you. They never loved you. Yo, Sadan. Assalamu alaikum. Pure love and respect. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Potem Whisper. Forward, pure love and revolution, one time.